Hey YouTube, it's Gigstacker. I'm here at the Amazon Flex Warehouse waiting for them to let me in so I can grab my packages. Um, I might end up doing some caviar as well today. I'm signed up for three hours with caviar later tonight. Um, but I'm also off from my day job today, so I might want to take it a little bit easy and just uh, get some relaxation and recuperation in. But uh, we'll see, I'll be checking back in with you guys to let you guys know how the day's going. All right, so I just finished um, getting all my packages from, uh, from the warehouse. And upon inspection of my deliveries, every single one of my deliveries is to an apartment. I don't think I've had a good experience to an apartment yet. So it's like 47 packages, every single one to an apartment. Um, this might suck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so I've done a couple of deliveries already. Uh, it's not as bad as I, would, I thought it was gonna be. Um, <clears throat> these have mostly been to businesses so far. Right behind me, that's uh, Montgomery Community College in Montgomery County, Maryland. But uh, but yeah, it's looking like it's going so, so far so good. All right, guys, so I'm making pretty good time. And I just finished up with my first group of packages. Um, as you can see, my front seat is empty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and grab the packages from the back. This is my second group, and I'm gonna start transferring them to the front seat. So I'm just gonna let you guys see what that process looks like. All right, guys, so you can see I'm starting to stack my packages, and what I, what I, generally, what I generally try to do is I try to make sure that um, the packages labels are facing towards the driver's side so that I can easily just tilt it and be able to see the next one to figure out which package I'm doing my delivery on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stack the rest of my packages and I'll catch you guys later. All right, so I'm about two hours into my, uh, my block and it's going pretty well, but I do have a bit of advice for you guys. If, uh, if any of you guys are out here doing Amazon Flex, one of the best ways to make sure you don't run into any issues is by scanning your packages before you hand them off to the customer. So like while you're walking to the location, you'll scan them or you'll even scan them in the car. And um, pretty much what that will do is that will allow you to um, <clears throat> have them in your system so that if there's any, any issues like giving it to the customer, you don't forget to scan it after the fact and then have to go knock on the door, get back in the building and scan it, which would really suck. All right guys, so the day's going a lot better than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna suck because of all the uh, apartments, but it turns out that every time I was seeing units, it wasn't actually apartments, it was businesses. And it's been very straightforward. Uh, getting in hasn't been a problem and handing them off to um, the front desk or the person has also been very easy. So today is going way better than expected. All right guys, I just finished up with my, uh, my Amazon Flex block and as I was about to head back home, I noticed that there was another block um, coming up in the next few minutes here. So I picked that up as a three hour block. So I'm about to go to the warehouse and pick up those packages. All right, so I just finished up uh, grabbing my products for the, the my second block, the, the uh, three-hour block, and uh, they gave me 50 packages. That's pretty much a, a four-hour block. I think Amazon, I don't know. It seems like they they're trying to throw out these uh, these three-hour blocks, hoping that um, they can save a, save some money. Uh, you know pay for three hours and get four hours work of, worth of work pretty much because you have to keep working until the um, all the packages are delivered or you know they can't be delivered um, but yeah so not 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 happy about this at all Amazon Amazon needs to get their uh, get their stuff together so I don't think I'm gonna be picking up any more three hour blocks this is pretty ridiculous all right so I just finished up with my last uh, Amazon flex delivery for the day <clears throat> this was the three three hour block that I just finished up. It looks like I finished it in about two and a half hours. So I guess I uh, owe Amazon a, 
an apology <laughs> for uh, for ragging, ragging on him so hard about giving me 50 packages to do in three hours. Looks like it was possible, apparently. Um, I think it was mostly due to the fact that I had um, duplicate deliveries. So, like, for a single house, it would be like three or four packages for a good good couple of them. So that definitely cut down on the uh, amount of time that the total, total block took. So, uh, done with Amazon Flex for the day. I think I'm gonna head off and do some caviar. That or maybe, uh, maybe go home. <laughs> we'll see. This is crazy. I just got a batch order from Caviar worth $25. That is nuts. All right, so I'm about to go, I'm about to go pick both of those up. It's from uh, Sprig and Sprout, downtown DC. So I'll be uh, checking back in after afterwards. Just finished those two pickups from, uh, from Sprig and Sprout. About to walk back to my car. I ended up uh, being a little too cautious on my parking on this one. I parked like two blocks away and looking here there's lots of space so I could have actually parked on the street. But uh, yeah, we'll check in after that next delivery. All right, I'm still driving towards my drop-off location for these, um, for the, for the caviar order. And I've got two more miles to do and it's gonna take me another 20 minutes. Just so you guys understand how ridiculous traffic in DC is. All right guys, just finished up the first of those two batch orders and heading towards the second part of the batch order right now. Hopefully I'll be there within the next 10 minutes and get another order. Just finished up with my uh, second one of that batch order. And I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit and wait to see if I get myself a delivery. Just picked up another uh, caviar order. This one's for $13. Caviar is popping tonight. It's Friday night, by the way. Oh, uh, man. I love doing caviar at night. <laughs> All right, guys, just finished uh, doing that pickup. Uh, my drop-off is going to be about four miles away, which in D.C. equates to 25 minutes. So I'm heading off there. Just uh, finished up that last uh, delivery waiting on a new delivery to pop in. So just be hanging out around here until I get a new delivery. All right guys, just got one more order. This one's an $8 one, uh, the smallest of the night, but I'm not gonna turn it down. So it's about 10 minutes away, I'm gonna go pick this up and then either this will be my last order or I'll do another one depending on how long this takes. All right, just grab my order. It's a pizza, so Got it sitting nice and cozy in my uh, in my bag here, but uh, yeah, it's about 10 minute drive, and so I should be there pretty soon. All right, just finished dropping off that pizza, so I think I'm gonna hang out for a little bit here. If another order comes in, um, I'll go ahead and take it. If you know, if not, then I'll probably be checking out for the night. All right, so another order just popped in. Uh, this is an $8 order, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one, and this will most likely be the last one of the night. All right, just grabbed my last pickup of the night. About to head back to my car, go ahead and do my drop off. All right, guys, just finished up my last delivery. It's been a long day. Finally done. Did some Amazon Flex two blocks. Did like four orders on Caviar in total. Today I made a little under $200. This is the best day that GigStacker has stacked for a stash of cash doing gigs ever. Well, outside of uh, Field Nation. But yeah, so today's been a really good day. So this is it for me. I'm done. GigStacker signing out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.